All right, so this is my 1991 uh, M42 318i E30 SI board. You see here that uh, screws, I saw a video of a guy that said that you use the wrong screws and it does this, but the screws are exactly the right ones and they, uh, they cut into the SI board and cut one of these traces. So rather than trying to go fix that tiny little thing and doing fine soldering, what, what any reasonable person is, you know, who does this is going to do, uh, who repairs stuff like this, they're going to just do a patch cable. It's the same thing. You just go from this point, you go from this point and you follow the trace back to where it's going to connect to and connect them and you kind of got to just hope that the middle layer didn't get cut too because you can't exactly follow the middle layer so because these circuit boards are in in layers that's the whole point so i did one i'm about to do another i i did the best i could to look and make sure that the traces as they bend out from the board they don't uh, i really made sure that they're not touching the trace next to it um, <clears> that <throat> they're not shorted out. Uh, I'm probably going to go in there and insulate them with some glue. Um, it's like Bondic stuff is pretty good. It's UV curing resin it cures instantly. Um, I might go in there and do that. I might not. I might just really make sure they're not, um, shorted out. Um, I actually use this little microscope to check real close it's not great for this but it's ten dollars on amazon so um yeah i uh i already patched this one you really want to get the patch cable as low to the board as possible you got to make sure that it'll fit um this wire is probably a little bit too thick but we'll see how it goes this stuff's pretty flexible so i can, might be able to just cram it in there and be real gentle um, just make sure if you ever take apart your, your cluster, you don't, um, keep an eye out for, for where the screws are going to go and make sure that it doesn't run over these because, uh, this sucks. I, I was having some trouble with my temperature gauge acting funny and I just opened it to tighten the little screw on the back of the gauge. It was loose, but, uh, I also found this and I, the traces are broken, so I don't know. I don't really know what effect that would have. My car isn't really acting funny otherwise. So I don't know, maybe that's also contributing to the weird temperature sensor. Anyway, yep. Thanks for watching.